Hi everyone, my name is Ismail Pico. I'm a team lead in the video R&D department at Gentech. I've been working with Gentech for more than 14 years. Uh, my team is responsible to address uh, complex field issues and bugs. We are working very closely to the other department uh, teams for Archiver, Media Router, and Media Player. And I sometimes have to go on site to address uh, customers' expectations. I'm here today to walk you through the migration process between an Omnicast deployment to a security center deployment. As you may know, Omnicast 4.8 is now almost 10 years old. Uh, it did set for many years a standard in the video surveillance industry uh, through its uh, reliability, stability, and intuitive user interface. Around the same time then Omnicast 4.8 was released the first version of Security Center, but with an idea in mind, unification. It allows the operator and administrator to access access control uh, devices and video devices to the same interface, and therefore it's uh, improving the efficiency. Here are the reasons why you should upgrade to a more modern VMS platform. So first of all, cybersecurity, uh, unification, advanced automation features, uh, more flexibility through new devices like IoT devices, body wearable cameras, uh, also improve scalability, improve uh, reliability, and also the migration from Omnicast to Security Center is pretty quick and very easy to set up. To address the concerns that you might have regarding the migration to Security Center, um, here are some important consider considerations. So first of all, bandwidth consumption. There will be no difference in bandwidth consumption when migrating to Security Center. The bandwidth will remain exactly the same. Same for the storage. You will notice no uh, difference, maybe slight variation in uh, storage um, requirements, but the amount of storage you need between Omnicast and Security Center is the same. Regarding the actual machines, the servers and the client stations, a list of our security center requirements is available through our website. So you can verify if your machines are meeting the minimum requirements for security center. In most cases, your machines will be able to uh, work with security center. Uh, just make sure uh, that they are within the specs by looking at the documentation on the website. Still on the hardware side, your current devices that you have in Omnicast will work in Security Center as long as they are still in the supported device list. Uh, on the software side, you might want to look for your current Windows and SQL versions as uh, older versions might not be supported in uh, Security Center. So uh, just make sure the, your current Windows and SQL versions are uh, supported by Security Center. Uh, also, please note that the Archiver failover has been improved, uh, but there are slight differences between Omnicast and Security Center. So it is better to check with your Genetech representative. Uh, in some specific situations, it might change the configuration and the server configuration for failover. And finally, if you have some custom solutions or uh, specific partner integrations, uh, you might want to check with your Gentech representative to make sure they are still working in Security Center. Once you are ready to migrate, uh, first of all, make sure you have a valid Security Center license with enough camera connections to support all the entities you will be bringing uh, from Omnicast to Security Center. Uh, also, make sure that if you have old SQL 2005 instances, make sure to upgrade them to a newer version, uh, for example, SQL 2008 or 2012. Uh, this can be upgraded even further later, uh, but for the upgrade, 2008 or 2012 should be considered. Um, once that is done, the process is very simple. Uh, you have to first install Security Center on all the servers and then run a tool called the Omnicast Migration Tool that will migrate the entities from Omnicast to uh, 
uh, security center. This must be done on all the servers. If you have an Omnicast federated system, so with a main system and multiple federated sites, uh, we recommend upgrade, migrating the uh, Eden system first to Security Center, and then you can migrate one by one the federated sites uh, later using the Omnicast migration tool. Uh, once all the preliminary steps have been done, the migration itself is very quick and easy uh, using the uh, Omnicast migration tool. Once the migration process is complete, you can now move ahead and start thinking about all the new technologies you will be able to bring to your new security center platform. Uh, for example, you can start unifying your core systems, uh, bringing more maps and dashboards to your daily operations. Uh, this can be done at your own pace, and just remember that Genentech will be there to assist you with all the projects you may have. Thank you for listening and see you next time.